serving fans throughout the Midwest and even more around the world. This is the Show Me Sports Network. The following is an exclusive broadcast property presentation of the Show Me Sports Network and is a high-fidelity, all-digital broadcast. This broadcast is copyrighted by the Show Me Sports Network for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast without the Show Me Sports Network's written consent is prohibited. It's time for the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout on the Show Me Sports Network. This is the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout pregame show on the exclusive broadcast home, the Show Me Sports Network. We'll recap last night's highlights and set the stage for tip-off, all while we set to bring you the exciting play-by-play action from the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout. The best broadcast coverage in mid-Missouri is on the air, as Blake Gasway and the crew are ready in the broadcast booth. Exclusive pregame coverage of the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout is brought to you by Avon with Michelle Carty, Boone County Journal, Centurion Cares, Eddie Goodell Society, Han Custom Laser Engraving, LLC, Kathy Rush, Remax Realty, Last Sentinel Firearms, River Oak Christian Academy, Sawdust Studios, Law Offices of Russ Swanigan, Southwest Dental Care, and State Tech of Missouri. The excitement is building in the stands and the tension is rising courtside as tip-off is just around the corner. You're listening to exclusive coverage of the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout on the Show Me Sports Network. Now here's the voice of the Show Me Sports Network, Blake Gasway. And a very pleasant good evening, everyone, for the fourth time this afternoon and this evening. Blake Gasaway here with you on the Show Me Sports Network, bringing you exclusive coverage of the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout. As this is game four this evening of four in game eight of 22 that we will see here over the five day tournament in this day two of the five-day tournament. Said Blake Gasaway here with you. Here on the Show Me Sports Network. Don't forget, if you have not done so, be sure and look us up on Facebook. Also have Twitter. I'll be honest, I don't use it that much. But look us up on Facebook. Just search for the Show Me Sports Network. Give our page a like and share stuff as well. Apologize, I didn't have a chance to promote the games for today as I wasn't actually even sure I was going to get to do the games today. My wife was sick and spent most of the day with her in the clinic and later on in the ER trying to get her to feel better. But good news, we got that accomplished. And she is back on the mend. So side note, it is flu season. So if you haven't done so, be sure. One, get your COVID shot. Number two, be sure and get your flu shot because my daughter and wife both have tested positive for influenza A. So it is going around. So protect yourself. Protect your community those that you love and simply get the vaccination. It will take you a long ways. So we'll get to starting lineups. As the Bunston Prairie Home Dragons... will be the visiting team. It will start a freshman, Jackson Pitts, a sophomore, Lane Brandis, a senior, Oliver Luck, a senior, Peyton Pitts, as well as a junior, Trip Kendrick, will be their starting five. Trevor Huth is the the Dragons head coach for the Northwest Mustangs, who will be the home team tonight. We'll pick up theirs as well. 
They will start a 6-3 senior, Pearson Titchener. A 5-9 junior, Gavin Killian. A 6-1 senior, Blaine Kressel. A junior, 6-2, Lane Titchener. And a 6-2 junior, Isaac Neaters. They're coached by Mark Scarborough. So good news for both teams. They have two players with the same last name that are going to start the game. So good luck to me on keeping those straight. We said Blake Gasway here this game. Four of four for the night. Eight of 22 for the tournament. As we wrap up game four in the twin billing, twin billing, four games. The previous game was all Lady Mustangs as they won 50 to 35. Pearson Tensioner will be in center circle as well as Peyton Pitts. Tensioner for the Mustangs, Pitts for the Dragons. As Tip will be controlled by Northwest as we're underway. Gillian had it for a moment. Russell, far side, three pointer up. In and out, no good. That taken by Tensioner. That's Lane. That foul called quickly. Lane Chrysler. Wrestler, rather. The senior picks up his first foul, first team foul. But neither team has scored yet as we're early in the ball game. As Pitts will have it. Left wing with it is Locke. And there's a whistle. And we'll have a foul called. So that'll be Lane Titchener, his first team second. Two quick fouls here. Dragons will inbound underneath their own bucket. Inbound goes out front, and it'll go into Pitts. They'll have it here on the near side. Dragons working right to left on your media center or your Show Me Sports Network app, however you're listening to it. Steal the other way. Tensioner has it. His shot up no good. He is mugged from behind. That foul by Oliver Locke, his first team first. Pearson Titchener, the 6'3 senior, will be at the free throw line looking to give his team the first points of the ball game. Yeah, free throw up, rattled it in. So his team, the Mustangs, lead one to nothing. Second free throw, that one left it short. Rebound will be poked out, he'll get it back. So they'll reset the offense here. Russell had it for a moment. As driving in one hander up, good. That by Killian. He's got his first bucket. It's a three to nothing. Mustangs lead. As there's a steal on the other way, wide open. Kressler shot up, good. So Kressel has his first bucket of the ball game. Just like that is a five to nothing ball game in favor of the Mustangs. It took a little while to get going. Have an offensive foul. Brandis picks up his first, second. They don't call a foul. They just say he was out of bounds. Straight away three up, left it short. Was a shooter there. That's Killian. Rebound will come down into the hands of the Dragons. So they'll go the other way. Around the horde they go. Pitts had it for a moment. That was Peyton Pitts. Loose ball will be saved by the Mustangs as they'll get it quickly in the front court. Killian will have it. He'll drive in underhanded hook up and good. He's got four points. And it's now a 7 to nothing run. As we played two minutes here in this opening period. Jackson Pitts will have it. Free throw line. Locke, he drives in, his shot blocked, rejected. It's two on one the other way. As coming in hot as Tensioner, he'll kiss it off the glass. It is a nine to nothing run now as he has scored his first bucket of the game. As shot blocked down low as the Dragons will not be able to capitalize on that. They still trail nine to nothing. Mustangs are going to go the other way with it. As Killian will have it. He'll give it in the paint. Shot up by Neaters is 
No good, but somebody got him on the arm. It'll be Trip Kendrick, his first. That'll be team second. Free throw up and good. Second one on its way. That one also good. And we have a full timeout called. We'll pause and be back as you're listening to exclusive coverage of the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout here on the Show Me Sports Network. Are your end-of-the-year insurance deductibles met? Hi, this is Morgan from Bothwell Peak Sport and Spine here in Sedalia. If you are scheduled for surgery or planning to have an elective procedure, your physical or occupational therapy could cost you little to nothing out of pocket. When you need personalized therapy, our dedicated, friendly staff of therapists are here for you. With more than 40 locations here in Missouri, we are everywhere you need us to be. To find a clinic near you, call us today or visit us online at Peak sportspine.com physical therapy or occupational therapy is a journey let us be there with you on the road to recovery at the boone county journal we are with you all the way we know that you're more than just a subscriber you're an employer you're a parent you're a neighbor most importantly you're a community member it's our goal to provide you with the latest news sports opinions obituaries classifieds and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. Well, an 11 to nothing run. And turned over there for the Dragons, so looking to add to it on the Mustangs. Down low, shot up and in. That by Pearson Titchener. He's got five points. It's now a 13-0 run for the Mustangs. Jackson Pitts will have it, the freshman right wing with it. He is Peyton Pitts. He'll drive in, fire up a one-hander, no good. Offensive rebound, trying to go back up with it. Could not is Brandis. His shot no good. So we'll go the other way. As Titchener has it, looking down low. Nice move, too far under. Bunny couldn't go. Second try goes in. Is that up and good? That by Needers. He's got four points. It's a 15 to nothing run. As with it is Pitts. That's Jackson. He'll give it to the paint right wing with it. It's Pitts. That's Peyton, his three-pointer short. Just nicked the side of the rim. Rebound comes down to the Mustangs. They lead 15 to nothing. Here's where halfway through this first Quarter of action. Looking in the paint, he is Nieder. Now left wing with it he is Tensioner. Driving in, one hander up, too strong. That by Lane Tensioner. So that goes out. The Dragons get the rebound, go the other way. Jackson Pitts will have it for a moment. Driving in, one hander up short. Second try up, no good. And Oliver Locke will go to the free throw line. First foul on Neaters, 13th foul. So Locke is at the free throw line. Free throw up, good. He gets his first team points. It ends that 15 to 0 run. That free throw also good. So that lead that was 15 has been cut down to 13 at 15 to 2. Monty Cordine checks in. The senior checking out is Neaters. So Titchener will have it. They'll play a little catch. That's Lane. He'll fire up a three. In and out. No good. Rebound offensive put back by Titchener. That one no good. Rebound saved by Kressel. Kressel will have it. Now left wing. He'll get it back. Straight away three up by Killian. In and good. He's got seven points. It's an 18-2 score in favor of the Mustangs. Jackson Pitts will have it. Free throw line to lock. Dish it off to Brandis. Now back to Pitts. Right wing with it is Peyton Pitts. He's double teamed over there looking in the paint, trying to back his way in. Shot up and good. That one by Trip Kendrick. He's got his first bucket of the ball game. It's 18-4. 
244 and counting here in this opening period. Down low pass, going up, shot up by Titchener is good. Pearson has got seven points. Lead to 16 at 20 to 4. His pass going to be taken away, going the other way with it. Wide open court on the breakaway is Titchener. He lays it up and lays it in. He's got nine points. It's 22 to 4 now. That's on the near side here trying to work his way in is Brandis. Shot no good. Second effort no good. Third try up. That falls in. That one by Peyton Pitts. He's got his first bucket. Well, it's 22 to 6 in favor of the Mustangs. Straight away three kill you in that one a little offline. Rebound comes down to the Dragons. We play a minute 45 left here in this opening quarter of our final game of the night. Ball knocked out. The lock there drains the jumper. He's got four points. We're nearing a minute and a half. It's 22 to 8 your score. The pass is going to be off the hands and out of bounds. Aaron pass to Lane Titchener. So it goes out. Meters checks in. Owen Caton checks in. Also Jason Bass for the Mustangs. So the Dragons have it. Ball's going to be knocked out, but stay with Munston Prairie home. They trail 22 to 8 right now. And then 19 left to go here in this opening period. Left wing with it. Driving in is Brandis. He has a knocked out. Lock will get it. They give it back to Brandis. A lot of traffic there in the paint. Lock has it down low trying to back his way in. He is Pitts. Turnaround jumper. No good. Rebound taken. But knocked out. And gets it back. He is Brandis. He'll give it off to Kedrick. His one-hander up. No good. Almost a steal there, knocked out. Mustangs getting a little sloppy with the basketball now. They will inbound it underneath their own bucket. They'll inbound it on the other end of the court. So we're under 50 seconds to go here in this first quarter. Free throw line with it for a moment was Cornine. Now Bass. Cornine again in the paint. Had to go back and get it. Didn't take the three. Bass will have it near side. Is Neaters uh, uh, underneath shot up no good. That one by Caton. We have a whistle. That one called on Monte Cornine, his first team fourth. 30 seconds to go here in the first quarter. 22 8 your score. Near side with it is Brandis. He'll put his left hand dribble down. Now kick it out by center circle to Wyatt Case, who's checked in down low, looking underneath the pits. Now they get it off to Brandis. He'll be in the paint, fire it up. That was partially blocked by Cornine, going the other way with nine seconds. Trying to drive in. Neaters shot up no good, too strong. Knocked out, will belong to the Mustangs. I'll have 3.3 seconds left to work with here. As they will inbound underneath their own bucket, they lead 22 to 8. Inbound will go into the right wing to Bass. Shot in the paint, no good by Caton. And that will do it after one quarter of play. Mustangs 22, Dragons 8. We'll pause and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout here on the Show Me Sports Network. The following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society, Jefferson City Chapter 10, doing little things to make a big difference. Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take the walk, Eddie! Haven't seen an Avon brochure in quite some time and running out of some of your favorite makeup, fragrances, or skincare products? No need to worry. Avon representative Michelle Carty has got you covered. Michelle can consult with you on the newest line of products as well as get those that have become your must-haves. 
You now have the opportunity to shop online 24-7 from the comfort of your own home and have your order shipped directly to your front door. To see how Michelle can help you out, find her on Facebook by searching Avon Carti. Live beautifully with Avon. The senior, so goes back to Bunston Prairie home. So they dodge a break there. Dragons trail 22 to 8. Locke will have it. And he'll give it off to Brandis. The ball's going to go off the hands of Landon Case. And we'll go back to the Mustangs. They lead 22 to 8 here. Looking to sweep the twin billing. Girls won their game very easily. Tensioner had it knocked out. Three-pointer near side up by Kressel. That's no good. Rebound comes down to Titchener. Another three-pointer by Killian. That nicks the front of the rim. Does not fall in. Rebound comes down to the Dragons. They will go the other way. As Locke will have it, dribble around traffic. Now put it out front for Brandis. Wide open on the backside. Shot up and good by Case. He's got his first bucket of the game. A lead cut down to 12 at 22 to 10. Three-pointer from the far side up, in and out, no good. That one taken by Tensioner. Offensive put back up and good after he backed his way in as Pearson Tensioner. He's got 11. He's in double digits. First one to get double digits in the game. That pass off the hands of Peyton Pitts and goes out of bounds. Dragons commit another turnover, goes back to the Mustangs, who lead 24 to 10. Clock rolling, 6.23 left to go here in this first half. With it is Killian, his shot rimmed out, no good. Rebound will be taken, going the other way are the Dragons. Lock will have it, that ball kicked into the other end of the court. So it will be an inbound for the Dragons standing just down to my left. As I said, almost at midcourt. Inbound. Eventually get to Wyatt Case. Ball's going to be poked out. Still on the loose. It's going to go out on the other side. Will be last touched by one of the Mustangs. It will be an inbound for the Dragons. As Locke will have it. He'll give it off to Case. Trying to back his way in, shot off the glass, missed it. Everything was Pitts. He shot it too hard. Killian will have the ball. No look pass down low, trying to back his way in. His Titchener, his shot off the glass, can't get it to fall. And rebound will be taken by Pitts for the Dragons. They'll quickly get it into front court. Is Brandis. He needs some help looking down low. To Kendrick, he's trying to work in the paint, kick it out. Case did not take the three. He'll step in, miss the two-pointer. Rebound comes down to the Mustangs. They'll go the other way as Killian driving around traffic, lays it up, lays it in. Killian's got nine points. He just looked like he was out there on a Sunday cruise, weaving around traffic. Shot up, no good. Offensive put back up. That was well short, that by Kendrick. Mustangs will go the other way as players hit the deck for the Dragons. They both get up, though. Straight away didn't take the three was Titchener. He'll give it off to Pearson Titchener. His shot was blocked. That foul called, though, on the shot on Kendrick, his second team third. So Titchener has 11 points. Rattled that first free throw in. He's got 12 points. Only player in double digits for either team. He can make this. It'll be back to an 18-point lead. He makes both free throws. So now has 13 in the game, and it's a 28-10 score in favor of the Mustangs. Case will have it on the far side. That ball kicked out of bounds, so we'll stay with the Dragons. Dragons. 
Monty Cornine will check back in. He checks in for Lane Titchener. So inbound goes into lock on the far side. He'll put his dribble down, work it here to the near side. Gives a short pass to Brandis. He's trying to work around his defender. Now with it is Case on the far side. I don't know where he was going there. Twice now he's tried to thread the needle. And it's going to be a lucky break there as off the hands of one of the Mustangs. That was Neaters. Case will check out. Jackson Pitts checks in. 4.05 left on the clock here before halftime. Pitts gets the inbound pass. Down low in the paint, trying to back his way in as Peyton Pitts. Can't do anything there. He'll kick it off to Jackson. Three-pointer up. Good. Jackson Pitts, the freshman, hits a three. That's his first bucket of the game. And lead cut down to 15 at 28-13. Eaters had it. Now core nine, back straight away. Killian fires up a three off the iron. No good rebound will come down into the hands of Brandis. He'll let traffic clear. He'll go the other way. That one off the hands of Locke. So we'll go back to the Mustangs. Both teams get a little sloppy here. Gavin Killian will have it. He'll get it back out front. Under three and a half to go here. Eaters fires up a three. That's no good. Cornine tries to dive for it, but comes up empty. And his Dragons will go the other way with it. Trying to drive in. Shot up. No good by Locke, but he'll be going to the free throw line. A foul called. On Eaters, his second. Team fifth. Free throw up and good by Locke. He's got five points in the game. That lead cut down to 14. Can make it 13 if he can hit this. He does so. We're nearing three to go here in the first half. Mustangs have cooled off a little bit here in the second quarter. And just threw it away. Cornine throws a bad pass. Going the other way is Pitts. He'll have it knocked out as he was trying to go to the bucket. Had it knocked out from behind. Inbound for the Dragons in the paint. Firing up a shot. No good. That by Brandis. Rebound comes down to the Mustangs going the other way. Three minutes left here in the first half. With it is Killian. They'll give it to Cornine on the left key. Driving in. Killian, his shot up left and short. Fighting for his rebound. Got it back. Goes back up. That too strong. Put back again. That one not there. Second try by Tensioner. Dragons come out the other way. It's a one on two. As laying it up, laying it in is Locke. He had the underhanded baby hook. It's now 28-17. Left wing with it is Tensioner. He'll put his right-hand dribble down. Now lost it in the traffic. Dragons take it away. They'll go the other way with it. They trail 28-17. Clock nearing two minutes to go. Three-pointer up by Pitts. He is no good. Bricked it. Offensive putback up and good. That one by Peyton Pitts. He's got four points. The lead that was 18 a few moments ago is now down to nine. Cornine will have it out front. Far side with it is Neaters. Boss with it near side. Neaters far side. He's driving in. He goes up left-hander up no good. It's number three on Kendrick. Fourth team foul. The Neaters at the free throw line has four points. Can't make that one. But he's got a second one coming. 147 left here in the first half. Second one up. That one good. So he's got five points, makes the back half of those free throws. 
It's back to a 10-point lead at 29-19. Three-pointer up on the far side, in and out by Pitts. No good. Offensive put back. Doesn't take it is Locke. Ball's going to be knocked out. Last touch by the Mustangs. Locke did not go back up with it. He was among the tall, tall trees with the white and orange clad jersey for the Mustangs. That pass is going to be knocked out. Coming on the other end, shot up good. That one by Titchener. He'll get a chance for an old-fashioned three-point play. Locke picks up his second foul, 15th foul. So Titchener will get a chance to make it the old-fashioned three. He is three or four from the free throw line. Free throw up, good. So he's got 16 points, leading score for either team. As with it, he is Pitts. That's Jackson Pitts. He's working near side now, tries to get down low for Pitts. Ball's going to be taken away as the Mustangs take it the other way. Driving in, shot up, no good. As they're going to call an offensive foul. That went on Boss, the sophomore's first, team six, to say he went in there uncontrolled. And the fans and attendants don't really agree with that. So the Dragons have the basketball. As Pitts will have it. Just had it poked out, though. Was looking for Locke, and ball knocked out. They go the other way, driving in as Killian kisses it off the glass, no good. But he'll go in line. Foul called on Jackson Pitts, his first, team sixth. So Gavin Killian will be at the line. We've got 40.7 seconds left to go here in the first half. 32-19 your score. We throw up good. So Killian's got double digits. He's got 10. Lincoln's out lead, 33-19. Free throw up, good. He's got 11 points. Second player to reach double digits for the Mustangs tonight. The Dragons will have it. In the left wing is Pitts. That's Peyton Pitts. Now they'll try it on the far side with Case. Nothing doing there. Cross-court pass over here to Locke. He'll put his dribble down. Now trying to back his way in. Can't do anything with it. It's Pitts. Shot on the far side. No good. That one taken by Case. Rebound comes down. To the Mustangs, as we've got 10 seconds left to work with. Killian will have it across the timeline. Near side with it is Bass. Now back to Bass. Five seconds, cross-court pass. Three coming by Tincher. Left it short. Rebound will be saved for momentarily, but then off of Neaters. And that will take us to halftime. As your score at halftime, Northwest Mustangs 34. And the Bunston Prairie Home Dragons 19. We're going to pause here and be back. And get your halftime scoring summary as you're listening to exclusive coverage of the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout here on the Show Me Sports Network. Do you experience pain? Are you tired of pills and prescriptions? Hi, this is Deidre from Sedalia Laser Pain Center inside Bothwell Peak Sport and Spine. Laser therapy is a medical breakthrough in treating all your aches and pains. And our physical therapy patients enjoy this treatment at no charge. We can treat everything from sore muscles, strains, tears, pre- and post-surgery pain, arthritis, and so much more. So call today or find us online at peaksportspine.com for your free consultation. And beat the pain the natural way. At Centurion Cares, for more than three decades, their focus has been on exceeding customer expectations for contact center software solutions. Their innovative communication solutions include utility interactive voice response software that allows for smart communication features that let your utility deliver superior customer service 24-7. They also provide other streamlined services like automatic call distribution, automated customer callback, reporting, and quality assurance. To find out more about how Centurion Cares can help your business, call them at 727-421. 5300 or look them up online at centurioncares.com centurion cares innovative communication solutions 
Last Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled, offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform with a guarantee of 100% American-made products. Visit their website at lastsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Last Sentinel Firearms, you are your last line of defense. Career and technical education at State Fair Community College can prepare you for an in-demand, high-paying manufacturing career in one year or less. Professional and skills certificates are available in industrial maintenance, welding, construction management, automotive tech, agriculture, and more. At State Fair Community College, technical programs are NC3 certified, which means you're trained to the current industry standards companies are looking for. Visit sfccmo.edu slash techjobs to learn more. So you want to sell your car, but you don't want to waste your time meeting with total strangers who either don't show up or want to haggle over price, only to delay the sale while they try to get financing from their bank. There's a better way. Bring your car into WK. We buy used cars directly from people just like you all the time. And we have cash on hand to purchase your car at fair market value immediately. So sell your car today at WK Ford, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Boonville, WK Chevy in Sedalia, and at WKFamily.com. 19, taking a look at your scoring summary. Leading all scorers for the Mustangs is senior Pearson Tensioner. He's got 16, 11 points by junior Gavin Killian. Five points put in by Isaac Neeters. Two points by senior Blaine Creasel. Round out their scoring. Taking a look at the scoring for... The Dragons, a little more balanced. They've got eight points put in by senior Oliver Locke. He leads the team. Four points put in by senior Peyton Pitts. Three points by freshman Jackson Pitts. Two points by sophomore Landon Case. And two points by junior Tra- excuse me, Trip Kendrick to round out their scoring. Scoring by quarters. Well, Mustangs won both. Outscoring 22 to 8 in the first quarter. For the second quarter, it was 12 to 11, so much closer. Taking a look at foul trouble, really the only player for either team that uh, maybe has some issue would be junior Trip Kendrick. He's got three fouls for the Dragons, two fouls for Oliver Locke, and two fouls for Neaters for the Mustangs. Other than that, Nobody really in any foul trouble. And both teams still in the locker room here. We're going to take another break and then be back as we're giving the exclusive coverage of the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout here on the Show Me Sports Network. Liberal Christian Academy has been providing a strong biblical foundation and academic excellence within a Christian environment for more than 15 years. Located in the Jefferson City, Riverwell Christian Academy offers kinder prep through sixth grade that prepares students to impact the world for Christ. Average class sizes are just 16 students with a student body comprised of families from over 30 area churches. Kinder prep offerings include three and five full day sessions with kindergarten offering half day and full day programs. To find out more about Riverwell Christian Academy, call them at 573-634-3983. Perfect, right? Actually, we were thinking of Rome. I know an agent there. Look at this view. This place is unbelievable. It's beautiful. We've been looking at Jamaica. Uh I know an agent there. Welcome to Jamaica. We love it. We love it. But we're thinking about Tokyo. Uh I know a guy. You know an agent, too. It's Kathy Rush at REMAX Jefferson City. Call her today at 573-761-3405. Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom. Using large format, high-powered lasers with some of the most advanced technologies on the market, anything can become a canvas. This state-of-the-art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one-of-a-kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Visit HanCustomLaserEngraving.myshopify.com or call 573-489-8732 to find out more on custom laser engraving llc a veteran owned business i'm alex moppin physical therapist with peak sport and spine do you have muscle spasms neck shoulder or leg pain how about reoccurring headaches 
low back pain, or chronic pain. You should ask us about dry needling, a process that can help you with these problems and more. There's no need to live with these ailments. And I'm Morgan Thompson, occupational therapist. I specialize in both hands and upper extremities at Peak Sport and Spine here in Marshall. We are here to help you enjoy life more by relieving you of pain and help give you a better overall quality of life. Come see us today here in Marshall. As a former veteran, for two years I tried to get my disability and nothing worked. Then I called Wes Flanagan and he got the results that I really needed. I hear stories like this all the time where people are overwhelmed with the system. As a former Social Security attorney, I will help you get the benefits that you deserve. Russ Swanigan lives and works in mid-Missouri, and he's here to help you. The help you deserve for the benefits you earn. The law offices of Russ Swanigan. There are things in life you should always do. Always say please and thank you. Always get a good night's rest and always take care of your teeth. After all, you're only given one set of permanent teeth to last you a lifetime. Southwest Dental Care is always the place to go for the highest quality dental care. They offer comprehensive general and cosmetic dentistry services for all patients of all ages. Their experienced and compassionate team is there to help you achieve lifelong oral health and a stunning smile. To find out more about Southwest Dental Care, call them at 573 Six three four four nine zero nine, or visit southwestdentalcarejc.com. To get the best smile in town, you mustache to Southwest Dental Care. We are State Tech. We are hands-on education. When you choose the number one two-year college in the country, you know you will be ready for your career. That's why at State Tech, we say... From the classroom to your career, we are the employer's choice. We are State Tech. When you buy a used car, how do you know that it hasn't been in an accident? Experience water damage or worse, have major engine problems. This is Kyle Wymouth with WK. Here, all pre-owned vehicles less than 10 years old and under 100,000 miles come standard with peace of mind, wrapped up inside a six-month, 6,000-mile 6, powertrain warranty. And because we sell more vehicles than anyone in West Central Missouri, we get more quality trades, so we don't have to shop the used car auctions. For used car peace of mind, visit WK in Sedalia, Boonville, and at WKFamily.com. Hello, Blake Gasaway here with the Show Me Sports Network. I've had the opportunity to have some amazing calls, including overtime touchdowns, walk-off home runs, and buzzer-beating baskets. But I've answered another call. That's to serve my community as a volunteer firefighter. Stop and think what would happen if your home or property caught fire and no one was there to put it out. Every day, volunteer firefighters not only save lives and property, but also respond to other emergencies. Nearly two-thirds of our nation's fire departments are manned by volunteer firefighters. And because of this, we simply need Need more volunteers to step up and answer the call. Stop by or contact your local fire department and see how you can become a volunteer firefighter today. I answered the call to serve my community. Will you? We are just about set to get the second half underway as the Mustangs lead 34 19. They do have the basketball as we'll change into the court. They'll go right to left on your media center. We'll show me sports network app. As you're listening, shot up by Kitchener. He is taken down to the ground, so we'll go for two shots. It'll be foul number four by Trip Kendrick, his fourth first one of the quarter. He picked that up nine seconds in. Kitchener's first free throw up. Did everything but go in. Well, that's a concern now for... Kendrick picking up that fourth foul. He will have a seat on the bench. Second free throw up. That one good. I assume he will probably spend much of the second half there, at least in the third quarter, there on the bench. Brandis will have it. Try to drive down the post. Nothing there. Three-pointer up. No good by Pitts. Rebound will be knocked around. Saved by Case. He'll go up. Left it short. Rebound comes down to the Mustangs. They'll go the other way with it. As Alla pass from Killian goes to Titchener. Down low in the paint. Going up is the other Titchener. That's Pearson. No good. Offensive rebound by Neaters. That shot no good. Rebound comes down into the hand of Brandis. He'll go the other way with it. Alla pass off to Locke. He drives in. Way too hard of a shot there. Missed everything on the other side. Rebound comes down to the Mustangs. 
as they'll go back the other way. Again, working right to left on your Media Center Show Me Sports Network app. Three-pointer near side. Tensioner up. Good. That is Lane, the junior, has his first bucket of the game. Crawls closer to that 20-point lead as it was earlier in the game. Trying to drive in is Pitts. He'll leave it on the near side for Brandis. He'll have it knocked around. Killian got it for a moment. Off the hands of Locke. Going the other way, though, is Titchener. He'll lay it off, lay it in. He's got 19 points. And it's 40-19, to 19, your score. Pass in the right wing to Brandis. Now pass again, knocked away. Coming out of there is Pearson Titchener. He's going to take his time. Smooth move up and good as he weaved around traffic, put it in low gear, and he puts two more on the board, and we're going to have a full timeout called. So we'll pause and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage from the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout here on the Show Me Sports Network. Are your end-of-the-year insurance deductibles met? Hi, this is Morgan from Bothwell Peak Sport and Spine here in Sedalia. If you are scheduled for surgery or planning to have an elective procedure, your physical or occupational therapy could cost you little to nothing out of pocket. When you need personalized therapy, our dedicated, friendly staff of therapists are here for you. With more than 40 locations here in Missouri, we are everywhere you need us to be. To find a clinic near you, call us today or visit us online at Peak sportspine.com. Physical therapy or occupational therapy is a journey. Let us be there with you on the road to recovery. At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer. You're a parent. You're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit vocojo.com. The Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. So we'll be an inbound underneath the Dragon's bucket as Brandis will get it. Trapped in backcourt, just threw it away, though. Was looking for a wraparound pass. Nobody home goes out of bounds. Actually was intended more towards the bench. Therefore, the Dragons. Million will have it for the Mustangs. Another three-pointer near side by Titchener. That one offline. Rebound knocked around. Trying to go in was Neaters. He'll hit the deck. A foul called on Case. Landon Case, his first team second. That was on the floor before the active shooting, so we'll be an inbound. 42-19, your score. Pearson Tensioner, he'll fire a three. Left it short, trying to save it, but could not, was Kreisel. Tensioner doing a great job in the paint, but not so far out beyond the arc. That pass intended for the corner for the Dragons goes out of bounds. We'll go back to the Mustangs. 42-19 your score. Billion will have it. He'll kick it off. For Chrysler driving in one hander up. Good. That by Needers. He's got seven. He went to the bucket with authority. Five fifteen left. In County here in this third quarter, and we have a reach-in foul called. Going on Lane Titchener, his third, team second. Monty Cornine will check in for him. Will be an inbound for the Dragons underneath their own bucket. Quick inbound in the paint shot up and good by Brandis. That's his first bucket of the night. Killian had it straight away. Neaters three-pointer up. Good. Neaters has got double digits with 10 as he dots the eye here on the near side. That's 47-21 in favor of the Mustangs. Free throw line with it is Pitts. And he had it poked out and it'll go out of bounds. We go back to the Mustangs. He was trying to go to the bucket with it, but just 
Lost the handle on it. 47-21 your score. We play here in the third quarter. The Mustangs leading the Dragons. As with it, Killian. Now Riesler shot up no good, but offensive put back up and good by Titchener. He's got 23 points in the game, leading both teams right now. Trying to look on the back door. Pass knocked out of there by the Mustangs. Kreisel expected it all the way. Inbound will go in for the Mustangs, or sorry, for the Dragons. That one knocked out as well. So when knocked out, we'll stay with the Mustangs. Evans had it for a moment. He's checked in. Shot from the far side. Missed everything. Was Pitts. But he'll redeem himself. Get the steal on the other end. As working around traffic are the Dragons. They'll kick it near side to lock. He'll step in, fire a jumper. It's up and good. He's got double digits with 10. That's his bucket to reach double digits. And shot up good. That's another tray right there. That up and good by Lane Titchener. And it's now 52-23, under three and a half to go here. In this third quarter, the Mustangs leading the Dragons. Here in the nightcap of day two of the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout. Nice job there working along the baseline. Shot up and good by Pitts. He's got six points. It's now 52-25. Killian will have it for a moment. Free throw, Cornine missed it. Rebound comes down into the hands. Of the Dragons as they'll go the other way with it. Lock had it. Now Nevins, he'll drive in. No look pass to the left wing. Pitts, three-pointer up. Good. They just say that was a two, so he was a step inside the line. Makes it 52-27. Another three up and good. That one back to back to back for Lane Titchener. He's got nine points now. Three trays coming in this quarter alone. As three-pointer thrown up, that one by Case. It's no good. Fighting for the rebound is Pitts. They'll kick it out to Locke. He'll shoot for a three. No good. Rebound again saved by Pitts. They'll reset the offense. He'll get it back left wing. He'll throw up a three. Left it short. Rebound comes down to core nine. The Mustangs will go the other way. They lead 55-27. Three-pointer. Killian near side. Way off line. Rebound will be saved deep in the right wing by Titchener. He'll put his dribble down. Again, slowing it down, driving in, shot block, Cornine there for the offensive putback. It's no good, and we have whistles, and Cornine going to be over the back. His second foul, third team foul. Jason Boss, Owen Caton. One more player's checked in for the Mustangs. Only a couple of them check in, actually, so. There's going to be some collision, but no call. Locke has it. Underhand shot up and good by Pitts. Peyton Pitts has 10 points in the game. It's 55-29 the score. And at 20 left to go here in this third quarter. With it is Neaters. Near side, another three on its way. That one's short by Titchener. Offensive putback no good. Wouldn't fall by Neaters. Dragons come out of there with it as we're nearing one minute to go here in the third quarter. Shot up after weaving around traffic is locked. That's no good. Rebound comes down to the Mustangs as they'll go the other way. They lead 55-29. Bass will have it out at center circle. He'll get it back. Our side needers now back to Bass. Near side with it for a moment is Tensioner. Now Bass had it. I don't know where he was throwing that because he threw it dead center to the corner on the far side and nobody was there. 
with a Mustang jersey on. So that goes out of bounds. Got about 30 seconds left here in the game. Ball's going to be taken away. Anticipated the pass. Was Neaters. He'll give it off to Bass. He's working around trying to go in the traffic. Somebody got him on the way by. Shot does not count. That'll be third foul on lock. Third team foul. So it'll be an inbound. 19.2 seconds left as inbound to Tensioner. Boss fires up a three from the near side. No good. As jump ball call. Nice job of Cornine to find in there. Tie him up. He gave up his body for that. Didn't get the ball back, but tied it up. Bunston Prairie Home does have the arrow. Six seconds on the clock. They've got it to Nevins. Bounce pass left wing to Case. You're going to have to do something with it as Pitts will have it, and they did not get the shot off, and then it'll take us after three. There's your score after three quarters of play. Northwest Mustangs, 55. And for the Bunston Prairie Home Dragons, 29. We'll pause and be back. You listen to exclusive coverage of the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout here on the Show Me Sports Network. The following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society, Jefferson City Chapter 10, doing little things to make a big difference. Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take a walk, Eddie! Haven't seen an Avon brochure in quite some time and running out of some of your favorite makeup, fragrances, or skincare products? No need to worry. Avon representative Michelle Carty has got you covered. Michelle can consult with you on the newest line of products as well as get those that have become your must-haves. You now have the opportunity to shop online 24-7 from the comfort of your own home and have your order shipped directly to your front door. To see how Michelle can help you out, find her on Facebook by searching Avon Carti. Live beautifully with Avon. A play underway is another three up and good. By Kitchener, he's got 12 points, four trays, as he makes that a 29-point lead. He's found his sweet spot. Driving in, shot up, no good. That shot by Case, offensive putback, second time through, not good either. As coming out of there with it, he is boss. He'll drive around traffic, throw it up. He's going to be called for an offensive foul, second foul on him, fourth team foul. He went in uncontrolled. Boss will pick up his second. He's with it is Pitts. Left wing three, in and out, no good by Pitts. Offensive putback is rejected. It'll be saved in, but into the hands of Case for the Dragons. Nice move to get the defender in the air, shot up, no good. And by Wyatt Case going out the other way. Baseball pass, shot up, good. That by Titchener. That was a great pass and assist. My boss shot on the other end. That one up, no good. Running one-hander by Locke. Boss will have it now as it's a 60 to 29 score. His pass over here to Titchener, looking down low. Lost the dribble though. Was Owen Caton coming out with it is Pitts, but they just threw it away. Yes, taking it back the other way is Neaters. 31-point lead for the Mustangs. Boss will have it out in center circle. He's running point now. Near side with it is Neaters down low to core nine. He bobbles it around, but somehow got it off. He'll get it back. Shot up. Good. Core nine gets his first bucket of the game for the senior. 
is now a 62-29 score. With it is Wyatt Case. He'll fall down. And foul called. That'll be called on Boss, his third, team fifth. Checking in for the Mustangs will be freshman, six-foot freshman, Blaine Arnett. You'll get to see some time here. Has the bright yellow orange shoes on. Inbound pass is going to be stolen, taken the other way by Caton, given off to Arnett. Almost went out, but kept his feet under him. Shot up. Good. That by Caton. He's got his first bucket of the game. Now 62-29 your score. They're working around traffic. With it is Brandis. We have a whistle. That foul called on Boss, his fourth, team sixth. Inbound goes quickly in. Can't go up with a shot as Brandis. He'll have a poked out going the other way of the Mustangs. We've got 4.45 left in this game. It is 64-29, Mustangs over the Dragons. Ball poked out, got it back. His Needers, he'll drive in, right-hander up, no good off the iron. Offensive put back, that left-hander up and good. That by Caton. He's got four points. Now 66-29. Trying to work his way in. And it's stripped. Is Trip Kendrick. That's Cornine's third foul, 17th foul. Well, Kedrick has two points in those four fouls. He'll be at the free throw line. We're halfway through this final quarter. First free throw up, good. Makes it a 66-30 score. Second free throw, that one up. That one also good. He's got four points, makes both of those free throws. It's 66-31. Mustangs leading. With it is Neaters. Now Arnett will get it. Wraparound pass to Boss. Near side, Neaters. Looking down low for Caton. Ball's going to be knocked out. He'll fight to get it back still on the floor. Neaters will get it. He'll drive in, lay it up off the glass. No good. Offensive put back up and good. Caton has got six points in the game. It's 68-31. Pass over here to Pitts. Three-pointer up, no good off the iron. Rebound's going to go way out there, and we'll say it was last touched by one of the Dragons players. So Mustangs will have the ball. They lead 68-31. Arnett pulls the trigger on the inbound, gets it back on the far side, cross-court pass to Neaters. He'll fire up a three. Off the iron, no good. Rebound will be poked around. And it'll be knocked out off the Mustangs. Junior Grant Milne checks in. Checking out is Trip Kendrick. 2-16 and counting here in the ball game. 68-31 score in favor of the Mustangs. Shot up. No good by Nevins. Here two minutes to go here in regulation. Eaters has it. Out front to Boss. Now Eaters has it. Another three-pointer. That one offline again. Won't fall off the hands. Uh, Pitts, so stays with the Mustangs under their own bucket. Monty Cornine checks out, checking in is Tanner Johnson, the six foot freshman. Inbound goes in to Arnett. He's got it on the far side. He'll give it to Boss. Cross court pass near side to Nevins. Now back to Boss. Arnett has it. He'll fire three. Couldn't bank it in. Rebound will be save controlled. By Caton, his offensive put back no good. Ball's going to be poked around. Last touch by the Mustangs, so we'll go back to the Dragons. It's a 68-31 score. A 
Good shot rejected. Nivens said not on my watch. Goes back the other way for the Mustangs. As with it, his needers. He's looking at the free throw line. That's to Tanner Johnson driving in his Arnett. But we have a whistle. Now we have a foul called. And on Case, his second foul. That's Landon Case. Fourth team foul. So we'll be an inbound. Arnett will pull the trigger. He'll get it in to Boss. On the far side with it. Now back to Arnett. He'll head and shoulder fake. Drive to the bucket. He'll lay up the left-hander. Couldn't get it to fall. Rebound will be bounced around. Taken by Landon Case as he'll go the other way with it. He'll fire it up on the other end. Shot no good by Nevins. Three-pointer tried there. That's off the top of the backboard with Milne, and that should take us to a final of 68-31 to 31 as the Mustangs are able to sweep their doubleheader action as they beat the Bunston Prairie home Dragons 68-31. Take a look at your scoring summary here in just one second. Get these totals added up real quick. So taking a look at the scoring summary for the Northwest Mustangs, leading all scores with 23 points put in, was senior Pearson Tensioner. 14 points put in by junior Lane Tensioner, 11 points by junior Gavin Killian, 10 points by junior Isaac Nieder, 6 points by Owen Caton, 2 points by Blaine Creasel and Monty Cornine. The seniors each put in 2 points. 4. The Dragons of Bunston Prairie Home they had two players in double digits. Senior Oliver Luck had 10. Peyton Pitts, the senior, also had 10 points. Four points put in by Trip Kendrick. Three points by Jackson Pitts, the freshman. Two points by sophomore Landon Case. And Lane Brandis to put in two as well to round out their scoring. Well, that is going to do it for our games this evening. As... We had four games tonight. Split doubleheader in the first action as Tuscumbia beat New Franklin 57-55. Then the boys half of the doubleheader, New Franklin had no problem with Tuscumbia, 83-27 the score. Then in the second half of our twin-twin billing, it was all Northwest as in the girls' half, the Lady Mustangs won 50-35, and in the boys' half of the doubleheader, Mustangs won 68-31. That is going to do it for our broadcast this evening. However, we've got two games that will be coming your way tomorrow. As tomorrow's doubleheader action will be Lamont, girls and boys, hosting Joe Howie. That will be tip set for 6 o'clock. For the girls game, 7.30 for the boys game. We'll have the call of those games here on the Showbiz Sports Network. As... That's going to do it for our broadcast. Blake Gazaway here with you. We enjoyed bringing you the broadcast tonight. Here from the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout, day two of five days, and game eight just completed of 22. So until we talk to you tomorrow night, pregame about uh, six or about 5.50, 5.55. So long. For the Show Me Sports Network, I'm Blake Gazaway. So long and have a great evening. You've been listening to the biggest and absolute best game coverage in mid-Missouri on the exclusive home for the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout, the Show Me Sports Network. Blake Gasway and the broadcast crew are the one...
serving fans throughout the Midwest and even more around the world. This is the Show Me Sports Network. The preceding was an exclusive broadcast property presentation of the Show Me Sports Network and was a high-fidelity all-digital broadcast. This broadcast is copyrighted by the Show Me Sports Network for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast without the Show Me Sports Network's written consent is prohibited. Thank you.